<laughs> Your doom has been foretold. Surrender to the dark powers. What? Surrender? What? We can't surrender. That's preposterous. Nobody surrenders in this house. Family. Thing. Uh, you are going to take these guys on. Ardenta, you can stay where you are. Adira, did I? Nope. I'm going to put you here. Let's go. Okay. Let's do this. Rear here. Me. Yeah. If you insist, Lord Captain. Thank you. Give this. That is foolishness. This. Okay. And now. If I may. Let Tess do what she does best. Which is a murder. Nothing I can't do. Two at once. Watch and learn. Oh, you missed the other guy. But that was good, Tess. That was a good try. Okay, good. Pink horror. No, it hurts. Okay. But he kind of damaged his own dude. Okay, so we have a cult leader and a pink horror. Okay, this Just is great. This is all fantastic. Okay. Okay. Love this for us. Argenta. Doubt is for the weak. Doubt is very much for the weak. Um, As we the Emperor commands, I act. This? Now, let's do... Okay, that was actually really it. good. Um, wait. I refuse. I cannot be used again this turn. Okay, is that part of her new class or like the class As upgrade? The probably. Commands, I act. Good hit. Ah, you're fine. Okay, hit him. Yeah, good hit. Oh no. Why? Why does potential future husband keep getting hit like this? I don't know, but it's happening. Okay, we are we'll do in the crapper as far as baddies go. So take that. Tell him his future. I'm not so sure. Okay, now this. Um, that's that's barely gonna do anything. No can do. Okay, but. What if instead you get rid of him what entirely? Of okay, almost. Why is everybody almost dying? Hit him! Yes, hit him! I'll channel my pain into anger. Oh my god, this Really? This this quest, this this is all ready. Okay, keep harried. Good. Okay. Tess. Can you can you come here? Can you heal him? No. Do you like literally have to get like right next to him? Forge ahead. Okay. Now heal him. Regain your composure. I needed that. Okay. Okay. Now. Girl, what do you want? Oh, too easy. This is um, this is how much? Okay. Already done. Yes, Tess, you genius. Okay. But of course. Thank you. Why? Okay. Um. Sorry, this aim for the assassin chooses an enemy in their line of sight and marks an opening. Let's see to it. Mm -hmm. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Now this. Good, 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 good. Wait, what was this one again? Oh, poison it makes an enemy suffer. Okay. I should have done that too. All right, Abelard. At your beck and call. You've got momentum. Let's see. Can you? I will do my duty. Okay, that's great. That's beautiful. I want to use it. And until the end of their turn. Okay. 
No matter the cost. Let's go here. My place is at the fall. Okay. Now. Just like literally destroy him. Those are like Victory little. Victory target. Well, these destroyed. are like little baby hits. Someone else can do this. What do you mean somebody else? You got two hits in, man. I see ya. Mm -hmm. That's. Uh, who is? Which one is that? You or you? You? All right, get Not rid of him. Less bodies. Are, oh my God! Less bodies. That's that's literally where I am with this right now. Um, front line. Is this. this a job for the serfs? I mean, maybe. Me? Yes. If you insist, Lord Captain. Thank you. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I know, I know. Okay. Good dodges. He hit his own guy, too. Excellent. I love when that happens for us. Um, let's do... Um, question. What is this one? Okay. Let's do this. This. How can I trust someone like you? Yeah, I, that was my bad. I gave her bad advice, Tess. <gasps> yes! Good hit! Oh, no. Hey, Adira, can you, you can't hit him through this, right? Like, I don't want to put you in danger. On it. But the more people we get rid of, the more people we get rid of, you know? Yes! We're already in the shit when it comes to the warp anyways. You might as well embrace it at this point. Tess. Nothing I can't do. Tess. How much you hitting him? My goodness gracious. All too easy. Strip it. Now. I'll pass. Now hit him hard. Make it hurt. Already done. You. Oh my goodness, Tess. You had one job. One job, Tessera. Tessera Von Valencius, you had. Alas. No. One job. For the throne's glory. Okay. Naturally, your reckoning is now he's dead. Okay, so now we're down to the pink horror, the cultist leader, and the sork. Not too shabby. But of course. Thank you. Captain. You can't I won't do that. Okay. And you're back and like I would like to say to send Abelard here. Um Yes, and I'd rather not. Is that it? Is that just that? That's where. A tactically sound approach. I'm not interested. Okay. I didn't realize that that would take up that. That's okay. Uh. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Kinda, yeah, sorta. But suits it did... my purposes. Yes, Tess. Sixty-one. He's halfway. You only need to reload I next turn, time for this. which is great. Everybody loves it when you have to reload. Nobody likes it when Tess has to reload. Everybody hates it when Tess has to reload. Mm -hmm. Okay, pink horror coming in. Enjoy Good. your luck while you still draw breath. He's coming in. Oh you goodness. Don't frighten me. Hasten, Sork. Okay. Argenta. Oh, good hit! I'll do it. Okay. Now. Is for the weak. Oh, you gotta reload. Wait, what? This is unacceptable. There. Okay. Good little hits. I'm proud of you. Ah, uh, Adira. 
Can you get him from there? No, can you hit this guy? Anything is? No. Thank you. Okay. Nothing pass. I can't do. Question. I am fear incarnate. All right, fear incarnate. You kind of hit him, kind of didn't. I'm happy with what happened, but it could have been better. Get me a target. I have a target for you. Let's it's a see. great target too. You're gonna love this target. Uh, you think you're gonna go? Can you can you hit him from where you are? Hey. We're already like at max capacity with the warp right now. For the throne glory. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. Um, Cassia's gonna give. Oh, wait, he's dead. So is it literally? Oh, it's just the pink horror left. Okay, perfect. Actually, you go here. Now smack him. Indeed. Yeah. Great. Now this is where we are. Mm. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Uh. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, Cassia, this. Okay. And. Everybody's been the search? benefit from all of this. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Score the pain. All right, Argenta. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Will they? Will they, though, you think? As the Emperor commands, I ask. Did you, did you, did you want once? I just wanted one hit. Era. Can you stack it? We'll do. He's got 43 stacks. Um, all right, so operative removes all exploits. Mark him as prey. Anything else? Yeah. Let's on it. It. All right, 86. Good hit. Good. But wait, what? Tess, when did you get that? Okay. How many? Tess? Tess, Tess. All too easy. Hit him. <gasps> I'm so proud of you. You did such a good Let's job see. there. Okay. I won't object. Nothing stands against me. Mm -hmm. Abelard here. Okay. An exemplary strike. Okay. And it's, that way we get out of Argenta's way in a minute. Cassia, give this to Tess. Tess, hit him. Suits my purposes. Oh no! They split. Oh, good. Into two. Into two. Oh, good. I was hoping that somebody was going to tell me these boys were out here I'm about to be splitting into to two. It's fine. It's fine. Are you? God, Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Without Please! I was hoping you wouldn't do that. That is not the Emperor's wish. Can you do that? Wait, why? I'll do it. <gasps> <gasps> you did such a good job. That was so good. <gasps> was, okay. was, was that you? No. Okay. Dead. What do we got? Ah! Abelard went down. Tess? Not a problem for me. Tess. I need you to end him. Yes, that's my girl. Was your biggest mistake. That's my girl. Blaspheming heretic, who were you praying to? I know those words that call to a lord. Argenta rushes to the last living, cultist and silently, furiously punches him in the face. 
Argenta doesn't get to finish, the cultist having dropped to his knees interrupts her with a grating, rasping laughter. Of course you know them. I recognize you too, lackey to the corpse on the throne. Haven't you already experienced the power of the true god? Didn't you flee from us, shedding tears? Argenta recoils as if from a blow, but then steps forward, grabs the cultist by the scruff of his neck, and makes him look into her eyes, burning like embers. I am one of the adeptus, or sorry, adepta sororitas. And I have never, not once in my life, fled from heretics and betrayers of humankind. Can't you see he's trying to get under your skin? Adira mutters. I bet he wants a quick bullet to the head instead of a bonfire. Despite her tone, she's looking around anxiously, rubbing her temples. It smells of a dark future, like a noose around the neck. Argenta, can we interrogate him first? What do you want to know, servant of the corpse emperor? The names of my brother and how many of us there are? Where we are? I'll tell you myself. We are everywhere. Soon, very soon, you will hear our voices. And when you hear them at your back, so close you can feel our breath, then you'll know the power of the true God. Just how many of you vermin are there? First we had Minoris, now here. Who or what is the true God you keep mentioning? You will know in time. The cultist gives you a wicked smile painted with fresh blood on his lips. How do you know Argenta? Have you seen her on footfall? Not on footfall. The cultist laughs hoarsely. In another place. She flew right in, like a bird into a snare. Argenta is staring at the cultist, her eyes wide, as if she, as if against her will, she whispers two words. Salus Prime. Argenta? Honey, what's he talking about? She snaps out of it, as if emerging from reverie. A planet, a place, it doesn't matter. I know these heretics. I fought them and was gravely wounded, but I swear, I never turned from them and ran. She turns to the cultist, her eyes filled with cold fury. If you truly have seen me on Salus Prime... Someone among you must know a way to get there. Do you have your own ship? A navigator? Answer me. Ships and maps, roads and doors, we have them all, but our paths are not for you. The true god spins his web, and you are but a fly caught in it. But where is the spider? The cultist's eyes fill with madness. I need something more coherent. Can somebody get it out of him? Rogue trader, we won't get anything from this madman. As for my part in the story, I'll tell it, but not here, not in his presence. Then end him. You can kill me, servant of the corpse emperor, but you can't stop the victory of the true god. The edge of daybreak is nigh, and the hour of his triumph approaches. Silence hangs for a minute, and then Argenta turns to you and shrugs nonchalantly. That's it. We fulfilled Reverend Harmonius's request, which means I am now free. I can continue my travels with you, rogue trader. Before we leave this den, let us round up what remains of the blasphemers. I would like to cleanse this place with purifying flame, but perhaps we can find clues that might tell us where the heretics came from, or if they have any more associates. We need to talk, but it- oh, it lowers her head- she lowers her head warily. We need to talk, but it can wait. Let's meet on the ship. Okay. Yes. I shall take all of this from you. Thank you. Um, okay. Anything that we can use? She gonna cleanse this place with fire. Victory awaits. That means fun. I know the definition of cleansing things with fire. Usually that means something fun. Done. Thank you, Tess. Okay. Uh, nothing really. Is there like a perception check that I failed? Possibly. I'll lay claim to it the stars. It feels like there should be something more back there. Okay. Anything over here? Over here? No, okay. Just checking. All right. I feel like I had also come across something here. Or maybe I always a new felt like there should be, but there wasn't. That might be it. Okay. So we've officially now done this. Phew. Fantastic. Love it. Love it when a plan comes together. That fight was fun, though. I will say that fight was definitely fun. Um, but I am very ready to get out of football. I guess you have all of chapter two to do this quest, though. So I don't know if, like, it matters what worlds you go to. And then you can, like, come back and do it if you wanted to. I did, by the way, look up to see if there was an order of events that we should do. Like, a best case scenario or, like, optimal planet hopping path between, like, our three planets. Apparently, it doesn't matter. It's just more planet level. If that makes sense. So as far as I know... Um, what was it? People have mentioned, like, going in, like, I think it was, like, Janus, Dargonus, and Kiava Gamma is optimal. 
But I don't know, I don't know what Tess is gonna do. Like, I don't know what I think is best for Tess. Janice does sound like an important place to go because it's the agri world. And I think that that's an important thing. But at the same time, I wish I could go straight to your ship here. Um, at the same time though, I do like the idea of um going and becoming rogue trader right away. Cause like kinda like I could see Tess also not wanting to lose her capital planet. So I'm not sure yet. But I've heard like fight wise, like for leveling, um where you'll be versus where everybody else will be. Janice makes more sense first. So we might just do that and then we can see how we feel later. Also, I do know that there is Heinrich stuff uh, on Kyavagama and Dargonis. And so in an effort to not rush through that and to make sure I don't see like everything from his romance or anything like that too, too early. Janice also time. sounds really good. So maybe that is where we're going to go first. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, getting the agri world done and then visiting with... Um, or like getting the stuff for the liege here also isn't a bad idea and just getting like all of that just done. But I do know that there's some exploration stuff, which I'm actually really excited to get into um, and kind of hop around the different areas of the map, like the bigger map, because oddly enough, there's more. All right, but first, 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 this way, if you don't mind, Tess. Now we should have what I thought we were gonna have earlier. Greetings. I'm waiting for you to tell me about your past and explains the strange world of that. Where's the cultist? Yes, I'm ready. I would ask only one thing of you, oh? rogue trader. Of course. If I may, I would like to see the chamber of the sacred warrant and kneel before the relic touched by the emperor himself. A difficult conversation lies ahead of us, and I wish to pray by the relic before I lay my soul bare. Of course, of course. Argenta drops to her knees, her hands making the sign of Aquila. Her eyes are locked on the sweeping signature on the warrant. A seemingly mundane thing, merely a flourish on a piece of paper. Unless one knows whose hand left that mark and whose blood is on that paper. If thou seest to flaw in me, smite me. If thou knowest a fall of mine, burn me with flames of fury and righteousness. But if thou seest to lighten me, grace me. If thou hearest this plea of mine, bless me with wrath of fury and of righteousness. Argentus' voice is sonorous as if made for a singing hymn and prayer. But right now she can't seem to catch her breath so overwhelmed with emotion. For I breathe by the will of thine, for I live by the law of thine. I carry thy word, O emperor. I bring solace to servants of thine, and ruin to foes of thine, a fate of terror and of right and righteousness. Upon finishing, she closes her eyes and remains silent for a long time with her head raised slightly high, slowly, like the first lick of flames in a campfire, a smile blossoms on her lips. When Argenta finally opens her eyes, they are alight with an uncanny resolution. Rogue traitor, we need to talk, or rather, I need to tell you something, the truth. The truth about how I ended up on Theodora von Valencius's ship, and about the cultists we encountered on football. Please understand, I couldn't trust you before. I'll tell you my story and you'll see why. Argenta pauses. I'll start at the beginning. It's easier to piece everything together that way. Upon arriving in the expanse and on footfall, I found no purpose here, only torment. It wasn't needed. The reliquary I had been assigned to safeguard was already well protected by Reverend Harmonius's mission and no one was even trying to defile it. For all its lawlessness, football, footfall respects the worship of the emperor. That was when Lady Theodora, head of your dynasty, appeared. She became an agent of the divine will in a way. Argenta falters, searching for the words. It was from her that I learned about the planet recently discovered by her scouts, Salus Prime. For a rogue trader, the planet was of little interest, a feral world away from the convenient warp roots. For me, but for me, for me, learning about its existence was a revelation. I've never heard of such a planet. Does it belong to the dynasty? Yes, now that planet is yours by right, but it's not as simple as that. The warp route leading to it was lost, and I'll explain. May I continue? 
The description of Salus Prime was familiar to me. It seemed very similar to a world from an ancient legend. The legend of Saint Argenta and her ship. Her voice grows reverent. Argenta, the living saint. She was my patroness. The order named me after her. She died millennia ago when heretics caused her ship to fall from the skies. But even those blasphemers could not touch Argenta's ashes or her holy relic, the One Star. For the fallen ship, which now served as a resting place for the saint's remains, would only allow the truly righteous to enter. All others would meet their death. Imagine what I felt when this flash of insight came upon me. The world where Saint Argenta's ship fell was merely a vague legend. No one knew its actual whereabouts, and suddenly I, myself named after the saint, come across this information. I realized at that moment that it was important that I must journey to the planet, find the ship. So I asked Reverend Harmonious to let me go for a time on a personal pilgrimage. I boarded the Adora ship, demanded passage to the newly discovered planet, Salus Prime. Um, you mentioned something called the One Star. Apologies, I got so carried away I forgot to explain. The One Star is the relic kept by Saint Argenda. It belong- I belong to the order of Protanus, and we attach particular significance to holy relics. The One Star is one of the lost relics of the past, so mysterious no one even knows what it is exactly. Argenta's hagiography at times call it a banner, or a set of armor, or a blessed chainsword, one thing is certain. It was a beacon of righteousness, and it was lost with Argenta's death. Hmm, surely he could have helped you with the search for the ship and the saint's remains? I couldn't just come out and tell him. It was important revealed to me personally, can't you see? I told Reverend Harmonious the honest truth that I was going on a personal pilgrimage to embolden my spirit. It really was a pilgrimage. It was as Saint Argenta herself had shown me the way, commanding me to undertake this ritual. If I had found the ship and set foot on its decks, if I had laid my hand on her remains and the relic, it would have been a sign that I truly had been blessed with the saint's favor. Um, searching for your destiny, for your place in the world is a special matter, a personal one. You either succeed at it or you don't. If you were the only one who had realized that you're dealing with once the planet, the secret of is no one else's. No, uh, I like this one. It's understandable searching for your destiny, for your place in the world is a special matter, a personal one. You either succeed or you don't. Argenta looks at you, somewhat surprised. I thought that I had been called that by- I thought that I had been called that finding the ship was my destiny, my place in the world. Perhaps, perhaps there is something to that. So I imagine Theodora was thrilled at the prospect. Lady Theodora lent her assistance. It was her intention to visit this newly discovered world, and she took me with her. So what happened next? Defeat, Argenta says bitterly. The ship's augers failed to detect anything of note during orbital scanning. I was expecting this, though. According to the legend, the ship can conceal itself from the naked eye, and only a pilgrim guided by pure heart can find it. What I didn't expect was an ambush waiting for us on the planet. I landed there with a small unit provided by Theodora. I know... Saint Argenta's hagiography by heart. I know all the legends about her. I followed their obscure clues, the descriptions of the mountains, the rivers from millennia old tale. And I was certain I had found the way to the ship. And that's when we were attacked. The words we heard in the heretic shrine on footfall, something about ways, doors, pleas addressed to some lord the edge of daybreak. Argenta is shaking with disgust. They were the same words as those spoken by the cultists who attacked us on Salus Prime. One whole unit perished. All those honest, brave people I had led in search of for the relic, it was only by a miracle I didn't perish along with them. I didn't connect these events at first, the cultist on footfall, the cultist on Salus Prime, the cultist attacking the ship, Conrad's betrayal. What if these are all links to the same chain? What if they've long since infiltrated the ranks of the Von Valencia service? What if I, I led those heretics to a sacred planet with my search? Uh, no need to blame yourself. If the heretics had really wormed their way in uh, by then, they would have found the planet with or without you. Yeah, they would have found this either way. I doubt it. No one except me was particularly interested in the planet. Conrad, on the other hand, he sympathized with me. When I first came aboard, he helped arrange an audience with Theodora, supported me in my effort to visit the planet. I never told him plainly why I wanted to go, but I imagine the Vulture must have figured that out. It was something important, something related to the holy faith of the Imperium. And what could delight a heretic more than defiling a relic? So, how did you manage to escape? Argenta shakes her head. 
Theodora's people received the distress call, came to my rescue, brought me aboard the ship. I barely remember what happened. When they arrived, I was already severely wounded, fighting back with whatever remained of my strength. Oh, sorry, remained of my strength. I think I shouted that we had to go after them. They didn't listen. They took me to the shuttle and pulled me out. After that, it's all blackness. When I came to, we were already in the middle of a warp jump. Theodora had urged urgent matters to take care of. She decided that she could hear out the planet at a later time. Oh, clear out the planet at a later time. Sadly, the only one who has answers to that is Conrad, and he escaped. Oh, yes. And I sincerely hope we meet him again. That serpent needs to answer a few questions before he is plunged into cleansing fire. I mean, I'm not going to disagree with you. And that's why you didn't trust me, right? Yes, rogue trader. Argenta looks you in the eye. I saw with my own eyes how a member of your family showed his true colors as a servant of the Ark Enemy. I had already suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of cultists, and I was afraid of another betrayal. I couldn't be forthright with you, and so I studied you, looking for seeds of corruption or the light of righteousness. Um, and what did you find, Argenta? A woman who stood shoulder to shoulder with me and helped eradicate the cultists on footfall. Argenta smiles, as if reminiscing about a pleasing, a pleasant evening spent in the company of friends rather than a bloodied battle. Although my opinion of you started to change even before then, back when you agreed to talk to the orphans at my request, a leader who's willing to honor those who lay down their lives for them and take care of their children is a leader who inspires trust and the way you acted in that moment. Do you remember? There was a young man whose grief and confusion had driven him to insolence. You didn't turn a blind eye to his misdeed. You chose the right words to show him that the path to redemption, or the path to redemption, it was harsh but necessary. Like the Emperor's truth, like bitter medicine that helps the sick. I learned much about you in that moment, rogue trader, and I want to believe that I wasn't mistaken in my judgment. Like, honestly, I really like that the game is already using events to kind of tie into different parts of these people's story. Like, Heinrich talked about the planet and how, you know, Tess made a soft decision in a lot of ways, and in a lot of ways it was the wrong decision. But I do like here that we're already seeing Argenta talk to us about that with the children, the fact that we went and talked to them and how we dealt with it. A lot of times in games, when you have stuff that will have an effect on a character, whether good or bad, normally you don't hear about it either till the end of the game or like in the epilogue end sliders and stuff like that. Like, oh, and Argenta remembered all that you had done for the kids, blah, blah, blah. Like none of that. Like we're getting this now in real time. And I really, really like that because it, it does add weight to everything that you do with these people because now you kind of understand that every single companion that you interact with, all of this stuff weighs in right here and right now. There is no... There is no, it just kind of adds up to a, you know, game mechanic point system down the road. It, it has actual weight to it right here. And Argenta is judging you for it, whether good or bad. I mean, here we lucked out. We did it right, but we could have done it wrong. So just to clarify, you were wounded. You never found St. Argenta's ship, right? Yes, I rushed to Theodora the moment I could walk again, and I insisted on going back to Salus Prime to defend the relic from the heretics. I was told that the warp had destroyed the old route to the planet, and that plotting a new one would take a great deal of time and effort, as if there could be anything more important than protecting the faith and hunting down the servants of the Ark Enemy. In any event, the route was lost, and all the knowledge of it died in the attack along on the ship along with the old navigator. But now we have a new lead. The data that we collected in the cultist shrine on Footfall, I don't care what the reprobate we executed said, there must be a way to track them down. Tell me, rogue trader. Will you help me in this undertaking? Will you help me find this great relic and return it to the people of the Imperium? Um, if it's important to you, I will help. Searching for ancient ships is an exciting... Of course I'll help. Um, if the Accursed Final Dawn is involved again, it's my duty to help you. If it's important to you, yeah, of course I will. She walks up and... Argenta walks up and places her hand on your shoulder. So be it, rogue trader. As I stand here before the warrant, the embodiment of the Emperor's will marked by his own hand, I vow that I will not relent until the holy relic has been returned and the heretics punished. And may the light be with us both on this path. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love, I love this bonding moment between the two of them. 100%. I'm here for it.